What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. I am so excited for this video. I've never done anything like it. I have been waiting for this package to come in so I can film this. I know we've all been there where we're scrolling through Zara's awful website and we come across this item and you're like, who would wear that? At least I know I've thought that many, many times. They have some crazy items. I just don't think anyone would buy, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I was watching Lauren Geraldo's video where she ordered the worst rated things on Fashion Nova, and that sparked this idea in me where I was like, I need to order the weirdest things on the Zara website. I am challenging myself to style them and make them wearable because I feel like you can almost make anything wearable and make anything cute. But here's the catch, okay? I didn't get to pick these things out myself because I know I would have been swayed into buying the things that I knew I could probably style and make look cute. I had my friend Nikki pick these things out and you guys probably remember Nikki from this video. Give me the freaking pen. Where I asked my friends to buy my outfits from Zara for me. She did a really good job, so I enlisted her to order the most bizarre things from the Zara sales section to see if I can style them. I am terrified. She did spend a lot of my money. She spent $400 on bizarre things, so I wanna thank Audible for sponsoring today's video and making it possible um, to do crazy videos like this. I listen to audiobooks all the time. Audible is an audiobook subscription company, so each month you get one one credit to their premium collection. You can get any audiobook and then you get full access to the Popular Plus collection, which has guided meditation, fitness, podcasts, audible original audiobooks. I love audiobooks because I love learning and reading, but it's really hard for me to just sit down and like open a book. So audiobooks are great for when I'm driving or when I'm cleaning. I literally always have one going. I've recommended a ton to you guys. Recently, I've been really into marketing books and more business oriented books. The one I'm listening to right now is called How to Be an Overnight Success, Making It in Business from Maria Hatzis-Stefanis. I find that when I listen to very inspiring stories, it motivates me to get up and work and get stuff done. I just have the Audible app on my phone and I can download any title offline. I don't have to be connected to the internet to listen to it, which is a plus. I know you guys love Audible. I get DMs all the time asking about what my code is. So you can go to audible.com slash Tony or text Tony to 500, 500 to get your first month of Audible for free. As usual, I will leave the link listed down below and thank you Audible for sponsoring this video. I don't think I'm prepared for how bizarre this stuff is. Not from what Nikki's told me. My hair is like making me sweat, okay. I'm not even gonna look, I'm just gonna pull something out. I'm so scared. Oh! Oh! Uh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> first I saw these and I was like, these are so cute. Like even with this top, it would look so cute, right? What? So they come um, with these lovely suspenders, okay? I feel like the right person could probably make this work. You know, even if they just kind of like hang down, that would be cute. These remind me of what I would wear out to recess when I was in like grade two when it was snowing outside. You know what? I'm not even gonna be pessimistic about these because I see the potential in them. Okay, so I thought I was really gonna hate these pants, but I actually really, really like them surprisingly so i threw it on with this like white linen top i'm going to show you guys another way to wear it with black on top and i just have these suspenders like hanging in the back i still have the tag on but hanging in the back and then they're a straight leg and they go to like the perfect length on me so it's actually quite a cute look and i feel like the suspenders add something even putting them on could look cute so i'm going to try that next but this is just the first way like hanging down when I saw the suspenders, I was shocked, but now they're my favorite part of the whole look. Okay, so here I have it just with a black tank top, and I honestly don't even mind it. The straps are um, a little bit long, so I tuck them in, but I feel like it's a whole look. This is what it looks like in the back. I 
feel like it's kind of cute when it like slips off your arm and you're like, oops, my suspender fell. Just what everyone wants to hear. Or like one on, one off, or you can do both off. I have to say, I, I like them. I will be keeping them and I will be wearing them. I find it hot, I don't know why. Number one wasn't so bad. Let's go into number two. Oh, oh, well joke's on you, Nikki, because this is actually really cute and probably something I would have bought myself. I actually really do like the material and the pattern. All right, so this one is not much of a challenge. I absolutely love it. This is something I definitely, if I saw, I would have bought. I don't know if your sleeves are supposed to go like this or off the shoulder. I feel like off the shoulder is very cute. It has kind of this like scrunchy detail. You can make it kind of like a sweetheart neckline. It goes in at your waist. It's the perfect length on me. You have the kind of puffy sleeves, which are super on trend this summer. You have the pastels, beautiful colors, a beautiful floral print, and the cut is really nice. I just threw it on with a pair of nude heels. First two down, not so bad. Oh no, I feel something. Oh God. Oh. Okay, look, this isn't my cup of tea, but I'm sure if I wait until October and I wanna be a mermaid for Halloween, this will come in very handy. Oh wait, is there a zipper in the front? Oh. Oh, okay. Um, sequined biker shorts. This isn't just like the ugliest outfit I've ever put on. It's also the itchiest outfit I've ever put on. This is absolutely misery, misery. Also, the top is see-through, okay? The whole outfit is see-through. Where is anyone wearing this? Huh, okay. Um, you know what? This also, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't have picked up for myself. It is this long striped dress, but if you belt it and throw on a little pair of like ankle strap heels, I feel like this could be very cute. Hey you guys, so this is a dress. Honestly, I don't even hate it. I feel like if I was in Italy or Greece and I was just like walking up the steps, enjoying my life, maybe with like a big hat, I would really like this with a nice pair of slides. I honestly, I really like this. Not to mention it's like very comfortable. I'm not like a huge fan of these. It might be nicer if you just like cut these strings off because I really do, I do like this. Kind of reminds me of maybe like a clown collar. You guys know what I mean? I think it's very pretty, but I have a vision for this. So I'm going to show it to you guys. But do you guys see what I mean? Like just flowing in the wind behind me. Okay, yes, this is the vision I had for the dress as soon as I saw it. So, um, I just threw on a black belt. Ideally, it would just be like a simple black belt with nothing on it, but whichever black belt would work. And then I threw it on with some black strappy sandals. I went with like more of a chunkier toe just to add something extra. I love it. I feel like when I'm a mom and I'm a little bit older and I go on vacation, like this is exactly what I would wear. I just tuck the strings inside of the dress. I feel like when you tie it in a bow, it's a lot, not very nice. But even the collar, I don't mind so much anymore. This makes me want to go on vacation. I'm living out my like Italian fantasies with this dress. Okay, I like the pattern. Oh, wow. <sighs> Is this a, a one-piece bathing suit? Okay, so it's a jumpsuit. It has um, these arms and it has legs. Don't mind the colors. 
just like very not my style but I can see like with a denim jacket and maybe a pair of like tennis shoes this could be cute I have faith in myself okay I see something with the same pattern oh no oh no you guys You have the jumpsuit and then you have the matching ski hat. In the winter time, this is gonna come in handy when I'm skiing, even though I don't ski. I'd also like to know how many of these they actually sold because I don't think it could have been that many. Would I ever wear it? No, but it's comfortable. Where are you supposed to wear this? I'm sure they had a target market for these pieces. Like maybe someone would wear it to the beach. I don't know why I kind of am enjoying this. I started looking into this suit because I didn't know if it was for people who um, didn't want to like show their hair. I just really didn't know. So I was looking into it because um, I didn't want to be offensive or anything because that could have been what the purpose was. But I looked into it and it was with Purple Magazine and this is the what the person who was reviewing these items said. Yes, I know the skin tight catsuit is bold, but how fun would it look styled under a leather jacket or over a sheer dress? You're gonna put a skin tight catsuit over a sheer dress? <laughs> what? Or wear it with the matching scuba cap for the full avant-garde effect. So this is just an outfit you're supposed to wear to dinner. I don't think I've ever felt worse, honestly. Huh, this is cute. I like this, okay? If I taught a kindergarten class, this would be so cute. You know what? I think my best friend would probably like this. She's really into like gardening. I put this on with just a little white mini skirt. I love the fit of the tank top, first of all. I think they should make this in a bunch of basic colors. I honestly don't even mind these. I feel like if it was just lemons, it would be super, super cute. The strawberries are a nice addition. It's not like there's like eggplants and onions on it. Like it's a cute shirt for the summertime. I think if you're going like strawberry picking, it could be very cute. Oh, a pair of jeans. Oh, these are actually quite cute. They're like paper bag jeans. Okay, so these are actually really nice. I really like them and they're super comfortable. I feel like they're super flattering because it sucks you in at like the smallest part. Um, and then they're baggy on your legs, which are super comfortable. These are really comfortable jeans. I just have it paired with a black tank top for a very simple look, a classic pair of paper bag jeans. What isn't there to love? Okay, two more things. Ooh, they're definitely busy. They're definitely something special, okay? I feel like with maybe a solid top, it could be cute. Honestly, I'm surprised that there's not a matching blazer. I feel like that would have been more of like an entire look put together. I don't know, I mean, good news is that there's a lot of colors going on on these shorts, so they're very versatile. You always gotta look at the positive. So Nikki caught me on a day where I'm just feeling the color. So I'm actually not mad at this. I decided to play up the um, neon orange tones, but if you wanted to, or like these tones, if you wanted to, you can play up. There's like a navy blue running through it or a white. If you have um, a crazy pattern like this and you have like multiple colors in it, stick to one color on the top. Don't try to pair it with another like pattern or too many colors, stick to one on the top. If there was a matching blazer, I think it would be very cute, like a full moment. I know it's hard to believe, but there are people out there who love wearing patterns and colors and fun outfits. So I'm not even mad at this. This is how I would style it. I feel like it's still super cute. I'm comfortable wearing this out. Like I'm not embarrassed. Um, it's fun. It's just a fun outfit. And I like this little cardigan paired with it. And it's actually funny because if you watch one of my last Sarah hauls, I got this top and this little cardigan and I didn't like it. But paired with these funky shorts, I now love it. Okay, and this I believe is actually the last thing. 
It's a dress. Ooh, okay. I like it. I like it. I think she was, oh. It's not a dress. It is, um, um, it has shorts. I still don't mind it. I still kind of like it. And I feel like in the summertime, this could be cute. Is it bad if I say I kind of like this? Um, okay, so this is what it looks like. I It's a little bit see-through, so I do apologize, but it is so comfortable. Like, I will definitely be wearing this around my house because it's so comfy. It kind of just, like, sits on my body. I feel like this has a lot of potential. It could be definitely a very cute look. You know, jumpsuits are very in, especially with shorts. So let's throw a blazer on top and see how it looks. I feel like if you're running errands or if you're just, like, trying to be casual, I feel like it's very cute. So... Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so at first I said styling it with a blazer, but I don't have a blazer that goes with like a creamy white and orange, so I threw it on with an oversized kind of denim jacket. You can get one that goes longer, and then I just threw it on with a crossbody bag. So not like, not terrible, honestly. I feel like it is still cute. I feel like it would be cute if it was one solid color, either like all black or all orange or all white. I would totally wear that, but because these stripes like make it kind of look like a pajama, then it is so comfortable. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not mad at this. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Me trying to style the most bizarre things on the Zara website. This was definitely a challenge for me, but I definitely had a lot of fun. So don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this, if you want me to do fun kind of videos like this, I definitely can. And if you want me to do any other stores, maybe like Shein, or maybe I will ask one of you guys to pick out stuff for me to style next. That could be really fun. Thank you Audible once again for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to go to audible.com slash Tony or text Tony to 500, 500 to get your first month of Audible for free. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys back here next time.